This is probably the biggest cheaters recipe I have ever done on this channel. Taking a handful of store-bought ingredients and turning it into the most decadent, degenerate, wrong, chocolatey, evil explosion of dessert you will ever experience. If you're a fan of chocolate cake, if you're a fan of Nutella, I've got you covered. Let's have some chocolate Nutella hazelnut crepe cake on the One Pot Chef. First we're going to start by making our chocolate ganache, which is basically a thick, rich chocolate frosting that's going to go on the outside of our cake. Now, first things first, we've got 400 grams of semi-sweet dark chocolate, which I've placed into a heat-proof glass bowl, suspended over a pot of barely simmering water, making sure that the bowl and the water don't come into direct contact, otherwise the chocolate will burn. Now, you can also use milk chocolate if you want, but I think the semi-sweet dark chocolate really makes this absolutely over the top. So on top of the chocolate I'm going to add in two-thirds of a cup of whipping cream, that's thickened cream here in Australia, but basically any cream suitable for whipping. And we're just going to allow this to melt and combine, giving it a stir now and again with a metal spoon, and this should take probably about five or ten minutes, and it'll go nice and smooth and mix together. Once that's nice and smooth you can take it off the heat, and place the bowl into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the ganache is nice and thick and spreadable. While the ganache is chilling, we are going to start working on assembling the cake. Now, this is the biggest sheet ever. I'm using some store-bought crepes. I've got 24 in total. You can buy them fresh from supermarket bakeries or you can buy them frozen from the freezer section. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dollop about a tablespoon of Nutella in the center of our first crepe. And with the back of the spoon, just gently spread that Nutella out so it covers the whole crepe. Place the second crepe on top and just gently press it down. Another dollop of Nutella. And basically, we're just gonna keep doing this until we've used 24 crepes. And the top layer should just be a crepe without the Nutella. That's our cake assembled. So all that's left is to spread our chocolate ganache over the surface and over the sides of the cake. And I've just decorated the top with some roasted hazelnuts. Now all you need to do is place the cake into the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes just to allow that ganache to set and then you'll be ready to serve. And here we have our completed chocolate Nutella hazelnut crepe cheetahs cake whatever you want to call it. It is absolutely decadent and deadly and definitely not diet friendly, but wonderful for a dinner party or a special occasion. So let's have a taste. This is just evil. I cannot wait to dive in. I cut myself a suitably large piece, but I'm so never going to be able to finish this. All right, let's have a taste. Oh, God, get back. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Chopgasm much. <laughs> okay. The Nutella helps to bind everything together so you get this sort of chocolate hazelnut cakey flavour throughout it. But then you've got the chocolate ganache on the outside and who doesn't love roasted hazelnuts? That is without doubt the naughtiest dessert I've done in a very long time and I hope you enjoy giving it a go. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. Now clearly this isn't something you're going to eat on a regular basis so please no comments saying why did you do something healthy? It's like technically this is healthy. I mean hazelnuts grow on a tree. That's healthy. Nutella made from hazelnuts grows on a tree. Healthy. Chocolate. Cocoa beans grows on a tree. Healthy. This is a salad.